Hey what's up guys this is Anubhav here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your very own channel art or YouTube banner for your YouTube channel in Photoshop. So let's get started. Now this tutorial should work for all versions of Photoshop so if you have an older version of Photoshop don't worry this guide should work just fine for you. So with that being said let's get started. Now the first thing you want to do is open up Photoshop and go to file and then hit new and make sure that the width and height of the new layer are 2560 by 1440. Now the reason we are doing this is because this is the perfect size for a banner and if you select a banner or layer with pixels smaller than this youtube won't let you upload it stating the fact that it's too small after you've done with that leave the other options as it is and make sure that the background content is transparent after that hit ok but as you can see i've already have it set up here so i'm just gonna hit cross so once you're done with that we have have our big layer right here and now we need to look for some cool backgrounds now you could always select some colors and add some effects and make this the simple color background However, I would recommend you to go to Google Chrome and search for Google backgrounds in images. As you can see, I've searched for sunburst backgrounds and we have all these good backgrounds, spaceful HD wallpapers, you can also select one of these and you can also select a simple background as you can see. Now do note that the resolution of the background should be bigger than the resolution of your layer just because of the fact that when we are going to crop it, it shouldn't be pixelated out. For example, you can see that the layer or the size of this is 2560 by 1440, so it's absolutely perfect for our tutorial. So with that being said, after you find your background, go back to Photoshop, go to File and then hit Place. Now in Place, before this tutorial, I'm going to be using this one, so just hit Place and you can see we have it set up right here. Now we want the full thing, so just click on this and hold Shift and drag it all the way up till it's fully covered. Do the same thing with the other part and once you're done you can either hit enter or click on this check button right here. So after clicking on the check button you can see that we have our background up and running and now we need to add some text in order to write our channel's name and add much more stuff like that. Now before entering the text I would recommend you guys to go to Chrome once again and go to dafont.com. This is basically a website for downloading different fonts and I'll leave a link in the description as well. As you can see you have the recently added fonts up top and you also have different types of categories from which you can select different fonts and depending upon your choice you can just make it look like yours and style it and stuff like that. In order to download a font, just hit on this download button and there are no service guys, believe me. Just download it up and you should be good to go. After you've downloaded, go to the RAR file, extract it and install the font. And once you're done selecting your font, go back to Photoshop. Now for this tutorial, we'll be using the Transformers font which I have downloaded as you can see. So with that being said, you can select the size, I've set it as 250 and you can also select the color as you can see. You can select black or white but we'll use black for this one. So after you've done with the font and the size and the color, just go to the text tool and add a text anywhere you want. So now we'll just be calling this channel art. So you can see that it looks pretty dope straight away. So you can just go to the pointer tool and crop it up. Now for you to crop it up to the perfect, I would recommend you to hold Ctrl plus A and then go to layers, align layers to selection, vertical centers and again go to layer align layers to selection horizontal centers so you can see that it's in the center as of now and then to deselect it just hit ctrl plus d so you can see we have our image up right here again you can move around it with it if you want to do it on your own and then we can add some effects to our text by just clicking on the layer then right clicking on it blending options and you can see you have all these uh, good effects over here you can add a bevel and emboss a contour a texture a stroke, a inner shadow, inner glow, satin, color overlay, you can even add a different color, gradient overlay and much more stuff like that. But for this tutorial I'm going to be using just this and the drop shadow. Now the drop shadow makes it look really cool so we will use that as you can see we'll just deselect this and the drop shadow makes sure that it's 100% opacity. Now again you can play around with it, it's fully your choice. You can select the distance, for now I'll do it 55 and 55 as you can see we have this nice 3d look right here and again you can move around with it and you can see that it straight away looks too good 
Now, you can also add some different text by selecting a different font. For example, in my own channel art, I add some different text itself. So we can select this action comics text. And again, we could reduce the size as you can see. So we just go to text, a new layer, and go and select the font which I showed you guys, action comics. And make sure that the size is 150 because we don't want it to interfere with the main text which we have here. So over here you can see we have the text and we could just enter guide. As you can see it looks like this however the font hasn't been selected properly. But you can see that the font looks like this and from here we could just select the font. And as you can see that looks pretty dope. So you can see that we can again crop it and you know place it at a convenient location. Again right click on it, go to blending options and add some different effects as we did with the other one. You can see we can add a drop shadow as I showed you guys. Again increase the opacity to 100%, distance 0, spread 55 and size 55. Hit OK and you should notice this is looking just too good. So as you can see, we have our text edited, different types of text all done, and you are pretty much completed. But the last thing you need to do is place some different PNG files if you want. For example, if you're a techie like me, you can just download some PNG and enter this Android guy right here. Once you enter it, you should find him looking like this, and you should see that it is right here. We could just enter it here. Again, you could hold shift and crop it if you don't want it to interfere too much. Once you're done, hit enter. And as you can see, we have a icon, a text with a different font, another text, a good looking background, and edited, and everything just looks awesome. So you can see that this it's that easy to create a channel art. It's no trigonometry, guys. And you can do this, play around with it. Again, it's all about your imagination. And there is no hard and fast rule that you have to do it this way. However, this is the basic way how I create my channel art. As you can see, I'll just show you guys. This is the art which I have. And you can see that it looks pretty dope itself. So after you've done with it, go to File, then hit Save As. Now from here, you can save it either as a Photoshop format, which is basically going to save it as a Photoshop file for you to edit it later. However, if you're fully confident with your editing, change the format to PNG or JPEG. Once you're done with that, you can just select the folder in which you want to save in. I'm just going to save it in my desktop for now and name it Channel Art. After you've done, hit Save and hit OK over here and you can see it's saving over here and it should be done in a second. Now go back and I'll just show you guys how it looks. We have the image right here and you can see that it looks pretty cool. It's not that good however you can do it your own way and you know make it look better more better than mine maybe. So I hope you guys this video helped you. If it did leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Again if you get stuck just hit me up in the comment section and I'll be sure to check you out. This is Anubhav here signing out and I'll see you guys in my next video. Stay awesome people.